Hello everybody and welcome to Programming with Ruby, Episode 2, Getting Started. I'm the presenter, as always, Tyler. Bro this is brought to you by manwithcode.com. So covered in this episode is installing Ruby. I'm going to go over what you're going to need to get programming with Ruby, and we're going to do the infamous Hello World example, standard across basically every program tutorial you ever watch or read or whatever. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go down here and, okay, so this is rubylang.org, r-u-b-y-l-a-n-g.org. Um, this is what it looks like today. It may look a little different when you visit, but hey, whatever. Um, go to the download section. There are a bunch of links here. If you're on Windows, go do the uh, Ruby one-click installer. It's a standard installer like any other Windows program, and that'll get you up and running really fast. If you are on a Debian variant of Linux, this line right here, sudo apt get install ruby irb rdoc, will get you started. That is all you need. Um, compiling from source, if you're on Linux, there's the source code up here. Uh, if you can get a hold of the uh, 1.8.7, that'd be a lot better than the 1.9.1 because I am using 1.8.7. So yeah, if you're on Apple's OS X, um, well, let's see. You can install it via Mac ports with port install Ruby, or alternatively, you can go over here to the Ruby OS X one-click installer. I was looking at this website. I'm not sure where they have Ruby 1.8.6 or 0.7, but that's the one you're going to need to get. They have 1.9.1, but that's not the one you want right now, at least for this tutorial. And uh, Open Solaris, uh, I don't really know of anyone who uses this, but there's the line right there if you install it on Open Solaris. Okay, so what else you'll need to get started? You will be needing a text editor like Notepad. Plain text, we don't want any fancy formatting like Word puts on there. Just plain text. For me, my editor of choice is gedit, uh, which comes on... Well, if you're on Linux using the GNOME desktop, you have this. Um, but yeah, no Notepad will work. Also, you can alternatively use an IDE such as NetBeans, Genie, um, see the rest of them escape me right now, I can't remember. Um, so right now, we're gonna write hello world. So open up your text, text editor, hopefully you've had installed Ruby if it's still installing or whatever, just pause this video, I'll, I'll still be here. Um, so open it up, type in P-U-T-S, put S, Hello world. And I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Um, name it hello.rb. Hit save. Okay, now there are two ways of running this. If you are on Windows, just go to the directory or folder, if you would like to call it that, uh, wherever you saved it, and double click, not click on it, and it should run. Um, also, if you want to run it via the command line, which you may have to do if you're on OS X or Linux, is you'll have to open up your terminal. And if you don't know how to use the terminal, it's a good time to learn now. And change directories to wherever you saved it. I saved mine in desktop. Type ruby hello.rb. And look, there it is. Hello world. Um, so yeah if you have any questions or comments leave a comment on this page little comment box below it or email me at tyler at manwithcode.com thank you very much for watching goodbye